Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video of a current issue Canadian military ration. I forgot to say a few things in the video, so here goes. First off, if you haven't checked out Eating History yet, please do so. I don't say that just because I hosted the show. I say that because it's a fun and informative way to learn a little bit of history about how food changed our history in America. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, turn the bell notifications on, that way you know every time I have to put a new video out. Or, when I do a live stream, which I do about every Saturday around 8 or 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, we are trying to build up the Military Ration Museum into something spectacular. We'd really enjoy having you guys over for the live streams that he does every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it doesn't cost anything to join us over there, come over, hang out. Give us your two cents on how we can make the Military Ration Museum better, bigger, and we want to turn the Military Ration Museum into something that everybody recognizes. And if you end up actually liking this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and let Google know what you're thinking. All right, on with the video. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so kind of getting back in the swing of things, we're going to start off with a 2019 Canadian Individual Meal Pack, or IMP for short. So this particular menu is menu number 13, Chili. We're not going to mess around here. We're going to get right into this. All right, real quick, I'll mention on the back the QR code that links you to the Canadian Facebook page. You can go on there and rate the meal and stuff like that. There's some cool information on there. Let's just go ahead and get right into this. I like to split these open right here on the top. Look at that right on top. Got a coffee crisp. Right, let's see what's in here. Of course, we have the coffee crisp, a Nescafe sweet and creamy. We have the 20 grams of Canadian peanut butter, a hamburger bun, two fruit punch sports drinks, a package of teriyaki beef jerky made by the Great Canadian Meat Company. For dessert, we have our sliced apples. We have a pack of Tabasco, our hot beverage bag, pack of matches from Eddie Match, white tip, strike on back, got a pack of Tic Tacs, so a little Canadian maple leaf dry towel that you add water to, there's our wonderful Canadian spork, and here is the Canadian issued butt ration, or napkin, and last but definitely not least, we have the chili, it's like 270 calories, 970 milligrams of sodium, I mean, your average Canadian individual meal pack is going to run about 13 to 1400 calories, and this is the current standard issue military ration for the Canadian Armed Forces. This is exactly what they'd be eating if they were out in the field or doing some sort of field exercise. All right, I'm going to get all this stuff thrown over onto a tray, and I'll be right back. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go heat this main up, and I'm going to get everything else unpackaged and get the drinks made and then we'll come back and check out all this awesome food together. All right, everything's ready. I got the chili heated up. I'm going to put it in a bowl. The reason I chose this meal tonight, it's the middle of the winter, and it is cold outside, so it should be a perfect meal. I've never had the Canadian chili before, so I'm looking forward to that. Look at that. Wow. That actually looks like hot dog sauce or something. Let's check it out. Well, I got to say, I'm pretty excited because this looks amazing. Look at that chili. Now, the Canadian Individual Meal Pack didn't start until 1981. Before that, they had the Individual Ration Packs. I got a lot of this information from Smitty. The reason I kind of wanted to start back off with a Canadian meal was because I wanted to mention three of my good Canadian friends, and that is B Temple. There will be a link in the description, right at the top. Canadian Trucker. 
or CT link to him also. And one of the best sources for Canadian information on ration packs is Smitty. Smitty's been digging into information for a long time. He's even filed for information. Really great guy, and I'm glad that he's trying to find as much information as he can. So I just wanted to mention those guys and say check out their channels, subscribe if you like what they're doing, because uh, they're really good guys, and they, they deserve every subscriber that they can get. Man, that chili looks awesome. The main ingredient in this, obviously, is the beef. So, steaming hot. I don't know if it's coming across. My mouth is watering. <laughs> All right. Get a big old bite of this and uh, give it a try. Get you a close-up. All right, here we go. Down the hatch. <laughs> wow. That is fantastic. The beef is just overflowing out of this dish. It's amazing. If you watched any of my past reviews, you know that I like more meat than anything else. So this dish right here is spot on. And it's perfect with the cold weather. Beans are really nice. The, the texture's nice. You get that flavoring from the onion and the peppers, which is really a nice way to just add some spice to the dish. It is very lightly spicy, I would say. It's just so good. It's a, I would consider this chili to be considerably better than the United States military version. Now, that's just my opinion, but uh, it, it's going to be hard to beat this chili. So, I'll try some of it with this... Uh, hamburger bun. Now, I was kind of hoping that there was going to be a thing of cornbread in here, because I think cornbread goes really well with chili, but uh, let's see how this bun goes with it. All right, here we go. That actually does work really well. It's kind of like having a, uh, like a chili sandwich. It's really good. You know, of course, crackers would be good in this as well. Anything works with this chili. Very impressed. We'll go ahead and put a little bit of Tabasco on it. And just uh, just see how well the Tabasco adds to the flavoring of this chili. I'm not going to put it all throughout the chili. I'm just going to put it in a bite. There we go. All right, let's see. Even the Tabasco adds a whole lot to this. Honestly, I wasn't sure. A lot of times the Tabasco kind of just drowned out the flavor. But in this case, it actually enhances the flavor of the chili. Adds a little bit of extra spice. Man, it's really nice. Okay, I'll wash that down with a little bit of this fruit punch and we'll see how that is man that's really really nice really fruity smooth it's a little bit viscous it's got a little bit of thickness to it it's definitely a nice change up if you're drinking a whole bunch of water to have a little bit of flavor like that that's actually a lot of flavor it's kind of exploding with that fruit punch flavor pretty impressed with the fruit punch actually all right get a bite of this chili and try it with the peanut butter sandwich that's actually really good. You know, that peanut flavor is really nice if you're trying to change this dish up a little bit. If you're kind of sick of getting the chili ration pack, you get it all the time or something. But as it stands, the chili is just so good on its own. Wow, I'm really impressed. I'm going to try out this beef jerky now. It just kind of came out in one solid lump like this. A little bit uh, greasy as well. But uh, there's you a close-up look at it. and give it a try. I'll tell you, that beef jerky right there is a lot better than the old beef jerky that they used to have. The teriyaki flavor is pretty pronounced. It's got a light sweetness to it. It's still rather chewy, but uh, wow, that's a really decent beef jerky. All right, I'm going to move on to the apples. Even though the apples are considered the dessert in this, I would consider this more of the snack. All right, there you go. Good look at an apple. Give it a try. Man, that's got a really nice, crisp, fresh apple flavor to it. It does have a nice, crisp texture as well. Lightly sweet. Kind of get that coldness from it. You know, after eating that warm chili, these apples are quite nice. All right, we'll give this coffee crisp a try. You see these a lot in the Canadian IMPs. This, this is a very familiar candy bar to them up there, made by Nestle. Right, let's give it a try. That's uh, very chocolatey, and mine's actually kind of stale for some reason. I don't know why, but it does have that light coffee flavor to it. Lots of chocolate going on there. you got the wafers with the nice crunch. It's a really nice dessert, in my opinion. And I think this sweet and creamy coffee will wash it down perfectly. Yeah, that is just spot on exactly what you need 
to go along with your coffee crisp is a nice hot cup of sweet and creamy coffee. Just a perfect, well-rounded meal. The chili was outstanding. Everything else was really stellar for what it is. I think this is a very good meal. And like I said, it is very well-rounded. Everything kind of seems to go pretty well together. This chili, in my opinion, is way better than the U.S. version. You know, they, they got to get a huge thumbs up for me on this one right here. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much the end of the video. Now's the time that I want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons. There will be a list of those come up on the screen right now. Thank you to all those guys. You know, stuff like this wouldn't be possible without them. I really appreciate it. And a huge thanks again to uh, Trucker, which is the reason that I have this meal, is because of CT. And Smitty and B Temple, my other Canadian buddies up there, great guys. Go check their channels out. Link's going to be in the description. But all right, guys, I guess really all I got left to do is say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next ration review. Later. A quick little note here at the end, we are trying to gather as much information about Canadian rations as possible, so if you have any information on Canadian rations from the past, you can leave it down in the comments section, or leave a comment just the same, I'd love to hear from you guys, and if you have any type of documentation or anything like that you'd like to share, you can email me, that's in the description as well, so yeah, I'd really like to have uh, any information you guys are willing to share, I'd really appreciate that. But alright guys, thanks again. Later.